Welcome back to Hannity. Now, we just heard from the president of Liberty University, Jerry Falwell Jr., defending his controversial remarks to students about gun control. Here now with reaction, the author of Sold Out, How High-Tech Billionaires, Bipartisan Beltway Crap Weasels are Screwing America's Best and Brightest Workers. Michelle Malkin and Democratic strategist, Fox News contributor Julie Riginski is with us. All right, simple question. I know the president wants to divert attention. This was radical Islamists on our homeland, in our homeland. He still wants Syrian refugees. Our law enforcement and intelligence people say we can't vet them. But here's the question. If you're in that room and I'm in the room with you and Bo Deedle is in the room and Jerry Falwell Jr. is in the room and we're all armed because we all have carry permits, do you want us there or not want us there if somebody's shooting up a room full of people? Well, the problem is if you're shooting up a room full of people and they're shooting up a room full of people, you're aiming at them. Where am I in the crossfire here? How well trained are you? I don't know how well trained right, you are. Been, are I, you a police I'm, I'm officer? A, no. I'm a marksman and I have but taught... But not everybody uh, is. Can I finish? I've taught... Well, I'm telling you. Okay. I have taught gun safety and I have been proficient in the use of firearms since I'm 11 years old. I'm a lot older than that now. I have had carry permits in New York, Rhode Island, California, Alabama, and Georgia. I have carried a gun more in my adult life than I haven't carried one. So my question is, do you want me in that room? Well, here's my question. Do you want me in that room? Because I'd have the same access to guns that you would, and I have no idea how to shoot anybody. Okay. You, That's you, the you, difficulty, the, Sean. The, uh, Michelle, it's not that difficult. I know, Michelle, you no. would want me in the room. And when they dropped their clip and they were reloading, you would want me to stand up and take them out, wouldn't you? No question about it. And of course, I'd want every grown woman in that room to also be trained and armed. And I'm going to make sure that my own daughter, who is now a teenager, understands that, of course, uh, being armed in self-defense is the great equalizer, whether you're talking about defending against a rapist or a jihadist. And this whole brouhaha over Mr. Falwell's very common sense and rational remarks just shows you that so much of the culture, the political culture and the media is far more comfortable in demonizing law-abiding Christians who espouse self-defense, armed self-defense, than they are in exposing and calling but, out but and demonizing think, Michelle, jihadists who want to kill us by any means necessary. Don't you think it's dishonest? If, if for example, if I ask people that are pro-gun control, okay, what are you going to do if a, a, a drug-fueled, you know, raging criminal comes into your house with a gun? What are you going to do to protect your family? They never want to answer the question. I, I like no, Julie, but I think Julie, it would be foolish not to want me, Bo Deedle, and Jerry Falwell in that room because we can stop the killing of innocent men, women, and children. So the reality yeah. is this is you know, not the problem, but it's an obfuscation but, by the president and others. Michelle. No question about it. This is not about gun control. The fight against jihad is not about gun control. It's about border control. It's about jihad control. And we play into the hands of the entire secular progressive left and the gun grabbers by focusing on this rather than the fact that you've got Hillary Clinton out there who has far tougher words than Jerry Falwell Jr. than she does for the jihadists that were responsible for Benghazi who are still on the loose. Far tougher words for Jerry Falwell and Christians who are armed in self-defense than she has for all of the jihad-enabling front groups out there from Hamas-linked All right, so care, let me ask, which is, yeah, let hello, me ask Julie let's this question. talk about the real problem here. And, and, you know, Hillary says, oh, I can't say radical Islam. I don't want to offend people. And uh, we're not at war with ISIS. Do you believe that crap? Do you believe that nonsense? Well, I think we are at war with ISIS. I think ISIS so is she's at war wrong. with us. I think I agree with her that I don't want to say radical Islam because I, don't think, because I don't think you should take an entire religion and tarnish it. It's not them. an entire religion. It's it, a distinction Sean, between radicals that have hijacked a religion and are out there killing in the name of Allah how would you in the feel, hopes of how 72 virgins. How would you virgins. feel if some Muslim, King Abdullah of Jordan or somebody else, some moderate Muslim, came and said the guy that shut up Planned Parenthood was a radical Christian. How would you as a Christian well, turns, feel about that? I would that? say you're ill-informed because that was not the case in that guy. Wrong. Of course it was. The guy no, said that not. he... But the point is this, Sean. You would be offended as a Christian. You would say that this no, entire Christian religion No, actually, I don't think there's anyone that's been more outspoken against the corruption in the Catholic Church, Michelle Malkin, than I have been. That's a different story. And has yeah. raised would the you, Catholic. Would you want a Muslim words, saying that? This no, I don't care who says it because right. it's the truth. I can handle the truth, Michelle. I'm not that weak-minded. Yes. Yes, and I would advise Julie to look up the word dimitude. It's the biggest problem that America has faced since September 11th, 2001, and well before that, because, of course, the jihadists have been at war with us for eternity. Thank you both for being with us. We're out of time.